Hi, you guys. This is the last week of school and for virtual learning. I am so thankful to have had each of you in my class this year, and I can't wait to see you next year. So we're going to go ahead and get started with our Bible story today. And today we're going to be talking about how Jesus feeds 5,000 people. We've talked about this before, and it still blows my mind about how many people he fed with just a little tiny bit of food. So let's find out right now how it happened. Once Jesus had a picnic lunch, but it was a strange picnic, for no one knew it was going to be a picnic, so they didn't bring any food for this picnic. It happened one day when many people were following Jesus as he left their town. They kept following Jesus until they were a long, long, long way away from their homes. Jesus came to a hillside, and there all the people gathered around him to listen to him teach. All day long they listened and listened as he taught them about God and about heaven and how they should live. They liked to listen to Jesus and all the many things he had to say. They even forgot about eating lunch. But late in the afternoon, they began to get really hungry. But they were far away from their homes, and there were no restaurants and no grocery stores to get food. Man, I don't know what I would do. Have you ever been that hungry where your tummy starts rumbling? It's telling you, I'm hungry, I need to eat. So Jesus knew that people were hungry, but too far away from their homes to get food. So he said to one of his disciples, Philip, where should we buy bread for these people to eat? Philip said, it would take more money than we have to feed all of the people because you remember there's a lot of people that were listening to Jesus teach. Some of Jesus' disciples said, you should send these people away so they can go home to get some food to eat. Jesus said, they're too far from their homes and they are hungry. You give them something to eat. The disciples asked, how can we? We don't have any food. How much bread is there? Jesus asked. Go out into the crowd and find out if anybody, anybody brought anything to eat with them. One of Jesus' disciples, Andrew, came back with a young boy and said, we found a little boy who brought a lunch with him. But his lunch is only five small pieces of bread and two little fish. What good is that little bit of food among all of these people? Jesus asked the boy for his lunch. Do you remember this story now? We talked about it not too long ago. This little boy, he has how many pieces of bread? Five pieces of bread and how many pieces of fish? Two. So let's see the miracle that God does with the five pieces of bread and the two little fish. What do you think the boy thought when the disciples told him Jesus wanted his lunch? Do you think he wanted to keep his lunch to eat it for himself? His mother had made the lunch for him to eat, not for him to give away, but he decided he would rather give his lunch to Jesus than keep it for himself. He was happy to share his lunch with Jesus. God is pleased when we share with others. Jesus told his disciples to tell all the people to sit down on the grass. The people sat down on the grass and they waited. Jesus then looked up to heaven and thanked God for the food. So even Jesus prays and thanks God for the food that they received. Do you pray at your house before you eat? We should always remember to tell God, thank you for the food that we eat. So Jesus took the five little pieces of bread and the two fish and began breaking the bread into pieces. Can you try to break the bread into pieces? Break it. Awesome. He gave the pieces of bread to his disciples to give to the people. Jesus also broke the fish into pieces and gave the fish to the disciples to pass around to all the people. Jesus kept breaking more and more pieces of bread and fish. And there was always more bread and always more fish for him to break. 
the bread and the fish never ran out. The more pieces they broke off, the more there was left. There was enough bread and enough fish for everyone in that big crowd to eat. It was a miracle. Jesus had taken the little boy's lunch and had fed the whole crowd of people. What a picnic they had. After everyone had eaten as much as he wanted, Jesus told his disciples to take baskets into the crowd to get all of the leftover food. And can you believe it? There was food left. They had 12 baskets full of bread and fish left over from the boys, five little pieces of bread and two little fish. Jesus had performed a wonderful miracle. Only God can do miracles. Jesus showed all the people that he had power to do what we can't do. Aren't you glad that Jesus is God and can do these wonderful miracles? So what was the miracle that Jesus performed that day? He took the little boy's lunch, which was five pieces of bread and two little fish. He prayed and thanked God for the food. And then what happened? God blessed that food. And so he was able to break off the bread and the fish and give it to everybody in the crowd who was listening to him teach. And they were able to fill their bellies until they were full. And they even had some left over. God is so amazing. I'm so thankful for Jesus and all of the miracles that he performed. It's time for phonics, you guys. And what is amazing is that we have been through the entire alphabet already. You have learned letters A through Z. So this week, our last week of school, we're going to be reviewing. Now you have a packet at home that has all the letters and all the numbers that we've talked about this year. And so you can do those whenever you want. But today, we're going to be focusing on letters A all the way to letter J. So get ready and we're going to sing some songs. So here we have our friend Alexander Alligator and it starts with the letter A. Capital A, little a. Remember A says ah, ah, ah. Let's sing our song. Alexander Alligator, Alexander Alligator, A says ah, 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 ah. Apple Adam Africa, astronaut and acrobat, A says ah, 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 ah. What's next? B. Can you say B? B says b, b, b. And our friend's name is Betsy B. We have a B here. It's Betsy. So let's sing our Betsy B song. Here we go. Betsy B, Betsy B, B says b, 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 b. Bell, balloon, and Bible, baby and banana, B says b, 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 b. Moving on to letter C for Connie Cow. We have capital C and little c. C says Get ready to sing. Connie cow, Connie cow. C says k, 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 k. Cat and calf and cowboy, camel car and color. C says k, 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 k. Great job, you guys. Moving right along to letter D. What animal is this? It's a donkey. Do you remember his name? It's Dexter Donkey. And they both have capital D's. Capital D, little d. D says d, d, d. Try that one more time. D, d, d. All right, let's sing our song. Dexter Donkey, Dexter Donkey. D says d, d. D, d, 
Dog and duck and dentist, doll and daisy dump truck, D says D, 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 D. Next we have letter E for elephant. Our friend's name is Ellie Elephant. She's so cute. We have capital E and little e. E says eh, eh, eh. All right, let's sing our Ellie Elephant song. Ellie Elephant, Ellie Elephant, E says eh, 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 eh. Elevator, escalator, exit, egg, and Eskimo, E says eh, 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 eh. Next we have Freddy Fish. We liked Freddy Fish whenever we learned him. All right, we have capital F and little f. F says f, f, f. Great job. All right, let's sing our song. Freddy fish, Freddy fish. F says f, 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 f. Fox and flower forest, flag and family. F says G for, what is this? It's a goat and his name is Gomer. Can you say Gomer goat? All right, we have letter G, capital G and little g. G says g, g, g. All right, here we go. Gomer goat, Gomer goat. G says g, g. Goose garden gate, girl green and glasses. G says g, 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 g. Awesome. Moving right along to letter H for horse. His name is Homer Horse. And what does H say? Do you remember what we do to remember what it sounds like? Put your hand in front of your mouth and breathe on it. And that's what H says. H says, that's right. All right, let's sing our song. Homer horse, Homer horse. H says, hummingbird and hamster, hamburger and hot dog. H says, Itchy inchworm, get your finger out and do itchy inchworm. All right, itchy starts with the letter I. We have capital I and little I. I says I, I, I. All right, here we go. If you want to, get itchy out and move them around. Itchy inchworm, itchy inchworm. I says I, I, I. Indian and igloo, insect inch and Italy. I says i, 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 i. Good job. And our last letter for today is letter J. And J says j, j, j for Jenny Jaguar. Ooh, Jenny is so pretty. All right, let's sing our song. Jenny Jaguar, Jenny Jaguar, J says J, 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 J. Jar and Jet and Jump Rope, Jack and Jill and Jelly Bean, J says J, 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 J. Awesome job today, you guys. All right, we just reviewed letters A through J. So if you want to do those letters in your packet, feel free, but you don't have to do them all today. You can spread it out over this last week of school. All right, just like our letters, we're gonna be reviewing our numbers. So this is what we're gonna to do today is we're gonna start with number one and go all the way to number 
10. Y'all know these numbers, but that's why we're reviewing, okay? So we're gonna start on this side and you're gonna tell me how many you see. So how many turtles are there? One, so our number name is one. Let's count the owls. One, two. So our number name is two. Let's count them. One, two, three. So our number name is three. Let's count the mice. One, two, three, four. So our number name is four. Awesome job, you guys. All right, we're gonna count the bees. One, two, three, four, five. So our number name is five. Next are some little birds. Let's count the birds. One, two, three, four, five, six. So our number name is six. Now, do you remember the way Miss Crystal told you to remember if it's a six or a nine? If the bubble's on the bottom, it's a six. Let's count the frogs, the green frogs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So our number name is seven. All right, let's count the rabbits. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So our number name is eight. What's next? We got ducks. Let's count the ducks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So our number name is nine. See, the bubble's on top for nine. And our last number for today is, let's see. Ooh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So our number name is ten. You guys are doing so awesome. So if you want, you can do the number part of your um, worksheets. Do numbers one through ten today. Y'all are doing so great. Keep up the good work.